India is leading producer of fruits and vegetables in the world. Fruits like mango, citrus, guava, papaya, pomegranate, banana and many vegetables like cucumber, gherkin, bitter gourd, snake gourd, melons, tomato, brinjal, etc. are produced in India. India is an agrarian country and the main source of nutritional requirements is met by consuming fruits and vegetables. Huge post-harvest losses are incurred due to pest problems. Fruit flies are important pests in post-harvest and cause nearly 40% yield losses. In the absence of control measures, sometimes fruit flies can cause 100% losses causing distress to the farmers, traders and consumers. The infestation also leads to quality loss. Though there is good potential for export of fruits and vegetables, fruit flies are major constraints. To mitigate the fruit fly infestation in exportable fresh produce, the fruits and vegetables are subjected to specific phytosanitary treatments such as heat treatment, cold treatment, radiation, fumigation, etc. depending on the importing country's requirements. All these treatments are very costly and time consuming. Bactrosura species is a major fruit fly group which causes post-harvest losses in India. The most economically important fruit flies are mango fruit fly and melon fruit fly. Female fruit flies lay eggs on fruits and vegetables just below the skin in the field. The eggs are whitish, very small. The larvae emerge from the eggs and start feeding on the flesh and cause maximum damage by tunneling inside the fruits and vegetables and lead to fungal and bacterial rotting premature drop of vegetables, etc. The mature larva jumps to the soil by for pupation. The adult male and female emerge from soil. The fruit flies can be managed effectively in the field by using parapheromones to attract and kill male fruit flies. Though commercial traps and lures are available for control, they are not popular among the farmers due to its high cost and non-availability at right time. NIPHM is popularizing low-cost technology of preparing lures and traps by farmers themselves or through a self-help group. These low-cost traps and lures are environmental friendly and can be used as an important component in organic production. To prepare trap, take one empty water bottle, 3 inches from top of the bottle, mark 3 windows of 1 inch by 1 inch by 1 inch. Cut the windows, make a hole in the center of the cap with a sharp needle, take, a, take 10 inches thin wire, make a knot in the center, pass one end of the wire from inside the cap to the outside, make a loop for hanging in the field. The other end leave it loose for tying the lure, trap is ready. Next step is you need to prepare the media or septa for soaking the lure. Take half an inch thick cotton rope. Cut into two inches pieces. Tighten loose ends with thin wire. To enhance retention of lure. Preparation of methyl eugenol lure. Prepare lures in well ventilated area. For preparation of methyl eugenol lure, take 6 parts ethyl alcohol, 4 parts methyl eugenol, and 2 parts malathion. In this mixture, soak the cotton pieces for 24 hours and cover the beaker. After 24 hours, Wrap the lures individually 
in aluminum foil pieces always wear gloves and store the cotton rope pieces at room temperature the methyl eugenia lure can be used in fruit crops from fruit set to harvest culure preparation take 6 parts ethyl alcohol 4 parts culure and 2 parts malathion in a beaker soak cotton pieces for 24 hours cover the beaker after 24 hours wear gloves and wrap the lures individually in aluminum foil pieces store until use at room temperature culure can be used in cucurbitaceous crops from flowering to harvest use separate containers measuring jars for methyl eugenia lure and culure preparations always wear gloves and prepare in well ventilated area at the time of use remove one third of aluminum foil and tie the open end to the thin wire of the trap and hang in the field hang the bottle trap with lure at least 3 to 4 feet high in the shade NAPHM is popularizing the use of low cost trap bottle trap and lure among the farmers through trainees the concept is being well received among the farmers in various states such as kerala jammu and kashmir rajasthan assam telangana andhra pradesh tamil nadu meghalaya etc the low cost trap and lure concept is also being popularized by organizing workshops at various locations for the benefit of farmers and extension officials the trained officials are also popularizing the concept by training farmers in preparation of traps and loops through self help group to aid in identification of economically important fruit fly species prevalent in india naphm has come out with fruit fly reference specimen kit along with an illustrative guide for identification of specific characteristics the reference specimen kit can be obtained from naphm on cost basis this will be of use to teachers students scientists researchers extension officials the brochure on preparation of low cost trap and lure for fruit fly management is also available in english and select indian languages at naphm website